Wow, this video is supposed to be up in ages ago, okay? I'm sorry. I can't actually tell you guys about what happened during those last few months but I'll probably get a video about it soon. Well, not really soon. Uh, we, if we're talking about my timetables, everything is kind of like a mess. So I am trying to get this one out as soon as possible because people keep stumbling on my old video where I kind of explain nothing about how I made the webtoon. Uh, even though the title kind of said process and it's kind of ironic since it tells literally nothing about what I do so on and so forth and so I just tried to do a comprehensive guide on how to upload on webtoons and stuff so I guess you guys should enjoy this while well, it lasts I did try to record this for a few times and before this I think the last time I tried to record for this is in November last year or so and yeah so um, if you kind of notice the sound difference and uh, it's because I recorded the next audio in November last year so please ignore the sound difference because I can't be bothered to record another one saying the same thing over and over again it's kind of like tedious at this point and I don't really want to go through all the trouble and all that kind of stuff so yeah just bear with it okay the first thing that people usually ask me about webtoon is the size that I'm working on Webtoom accepts pages in JPEG format in size 800 by 1280 pixels and that format is likely to stay until further notice. They would stack the pictures on top of one another to create that scrolling effect. The first picture you put is the top and the last one is the bottom. If you want to achieve this, you can either do separate pages by that format or do a long strip and then cropping it later. You can use photoshop or I'll show you how to do it without when we get to that. If you decided to go by pages, then I suggest you do around 2 or 3 panels at most and then also take into account comic pauses that you might want to use to escalate drama or just add more feels in general. I also suggest that you keep the background of your webtoon white if you want to do this. Um, if you have a gradient or some sort of transitional panel that might use a lot of spaces, then I suggest you go by strips, then pages. The white background is necessary so that you can add a small white page later. Um, save it and then export as JPEG before you can upload it. Sometimes you might not guess the distance right or just wanted the drama to drag in just a little bit longer. So I suggest that you have an 800 by 400 pixel blank white jetpack that you can slide between the pages to add that white space that you need. Um, if you don't get this now, I'll try to explain it better later when we come to the upload section. Um, for the strips, you have to make your webtoon 800 by whatever number of pages you need times by 1280 pixels. Most art programs can go over 12,800 um, sometimes so it's good to keep it below that. So after you've done that, you can export it as either a PNG or a PSD and then you can go online to croppy.com to have it cropped appropriately and formatted to fit webtoon specifications and then you can download it. It also has an option for tapestic so if you want to you can also use this to format your tapest pages after that is all set you can start preparing other things for your webtoon such as the main thumbnail and episode thumbnails the size of the main thumbnail is 436 by 436 and each episode and, and each episode's thumbnail is um, 160 by 151 pixels. For the main thumbnail, you can basically do whatever you want but people are usually attracted by portraits and you can so you can have the face of your main character there. And if you want to do a group picture, please remember that the size of the thumbnail viewed by the phone is literally going to be the size of your thumbnail. So I suggest not overcrowding the space and just go for something simple but effective. For episode thumbnails, you can just use any panels um, from your episode that you think is interesting. It's better to use that technique instead of learning yourself making a new one each time so it's less work for you to do. And when everything is ready, you can log in into your account and then click on the publish button. You will be directed 
to the series publication page if you don't have any webtoon series up yet and then you're going to fill up the information section of your webtoon which is the title summary and one or two genres for the series you have to figure this out before you publish it but you can save it as a draft and also retouch it even after it was published so don't worry about it too much but have something figure out so fill out what you need to and then after you're done you can push the create series button to create a series after you've done that you will be directed to your series page where it shows every series you have created so far click the add episode button of the one that you want to update and then you'll be directed to the uploading page now you would need to put in a title for the episode or you can just say whatever chapter it is and then upload the episode thumbnail along with the finished pages for those who does buy strips you can just select everything you made so far and make sure it's in order and then click open before previewing it using the preview button now if you do it by pages like me you would do the same except that sometimes you might notice that some pages need more spaces in between than others the easy way to fix this is to open up that blank white jpeg that i asked you to make in the beginning of the video and what you would need to do is just slide them between the pages that you want to have some space in between and then you can remove unnecessary but uh, pages by clicking the X button and when everything is done you can leave in an author's note completely optional and only then you can click publish okay now you've published your first webtoon um, the publishing the first episode is just the start okay have many more challenges to come after this by keeping it consistent getting in the views and whatever and webtoon already had prepared some guidelines for your episodes so I'm going to leave that in the description below uh, along with some of the links that I mentioned and also some of the specifications that I mentioned in case you guys didn't get it the first time around. So that's all for today I guess. <laughs> I'm really sorry since this is taking a long time I promise you guys that I'll get this one up before the competition ends and yet now it already ended and we already know some of the upcoming winners for each genres uh, but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye